welcome to today's live tutorial. Today I'm going to show you what I think is the easiest braid of all time. I think it's even easier than your classic three strand. So I've seen this braid a lot online. I've seen different variations. I'm going to show you one today. And what makes it really easy is there's actually no braiding. So if you don't feel like you're have a lot of good dexterity in your fingers or it's hard for you to just hold all the pieces this is going to be your favorite braid because it looks so cute it looks really hard to do but it is so easy so this is alexis she's going to be my cute model today she has lent me yeah. her insanely insanely beautiful hair so i'm going to do this braid on the side for you guys today and when i do my braids i like to add a little bit of interest up here a little bit of texture so it looks a little bit more complicated so bear with me i'm going to do one one twist up here and then I'm going to show you the actual beret technique that is so so easy. The twist is still easy too but um, if it seems complicated it's not. So what I like to do is we have Alexis's hair parted from the side. She usually parts it on the side and I always like to leave a couple pieces hanging out. This is a really cute like relaxed beret, kind of a casual beret. So I just want some pieces hanging around her cute face. Okay, and then what I like to do, the actual braid is gonna start down here and we're just gonna go. So I wanna create something up in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just take a section of hair from the top, just a loose section on the side. And then I'm gonna put a rubber band in it. About, um, about where her eye is actually is where I'm gonna have that rubber band. Gonna wrap it around twice. All right, and you'll notice I'm doing it really loose. I have a lot of distance between the rubber band and her scalp. And then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna split it in half, put two fingers through and just pull the ponytail up, grab it with my fingers and pull it down. So you've just done a little inverted twist. And I'm gonna go ahead and give the bottom a tug a little bit and just very gently pull the sides out okay so now that that is done that's just created a little something on top to make it look cute we're going to gather everything in a ponytail right near can we see good right near the bottom of her ear near the nape of her neck i'm going to pull it up a little bit so i'm going to use the same clear rubber band I'm going to make another ponytail. Okay, so for this braid, like I said, there's no actual braiding. We're just doing sort of a pull through technique. So actually the same thing we did up here. So we're just going to split it right in half, pull our fingers through and grab the braid like that and just pull it through. You can push it. Sometimes I push it with my thumb. And I'll show you guys a little trick. There's actually a tool you can use that makes it really easy too. And I'm just going to give this a light, light pull. Okay, so that is looking so cute. So I'm going to do, I'm going to create another bubble. So I like to call this the bubble shell braid because what it looks like when you start going down the hair, it reminds me of little cute seashells, the kind that kind of curl inward, the little bubbles. Okay, so I want, when Alexis is looking forward, I want you to really be able to see the texture of the braid. So I have been doing these pieces down, but I'm actually gonna turn and I'm gonna grab the hair from the front of it and do my twist sort of forward instead, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm gonna go, her hair is long. She has really long, pretty hair. So I'm gonna go about three inches below the initial rubber band and create another tie. And they don't need to be really tight or anything. I usually just do two wraps around. And exact same thing. So this is the technique. Super easy. Super, super easy. You're just going to poke the bubble with your finger right in the middle. Push all the way through. Just open it up a little, little bit. Not much. And then I just like to bring my little pincher fingers. I'll come from behind. I'll pinch forward. Open these guys up. And then I'm just going to grab the braid and pull it right through. So I like there to be a lot of twist up here. So I'm just going to keep twisting it with my fingers pull it up slightly and I want this to be really round so I'm going to pull it apart but I'm going to pull from the very middle of the sides so that it looks very round I don't want to pull from the top or the bottom 
and you can pull however you want. I think it's cute if it looks like a little shell, so I like it to be a nice little bubble. And that's all. It's so, so easy. So with this next one, I'll show you guys a little tool you can use. Some people like to do this. I like to do it just with my fingers. So three inches below, do it twice. And then what you can use, I just get these from Amazon. I'll hold it near her so you guys can see. So it's a loop with a stick attached. So what you do is you just put the pony in the little loop and they're very, very flexible. So you bend it and you'll just stick the stick right in the middle instead of your finger. And then you can actually pull it, pull it through and do it that way if you don't want to do your fingers. And then if it doesn't pull all the way through, you just kind of push it. So that's how to do it with the tool. Some people think the tool is easier. I like to just do my finger. It kind of gives you a tighter, a tighter one if you do it with the tool. Okay, so same thing. I pull it up a little bit and you can see it's a tight little bubble and I like to pull apart the sides. It's also cute. If you don't pull it apart, it's still cute too. It looks a little more braided that way. I see people doing that um, too and it's really cute. Okay. If you wanna get really fancy, it's also cute every time you do a section, you can take a little piece from behind and you can wrap it around your little rubber band and then put a bobby pin behind it and then do your next bubble. That's actually super cute. Okay, it's the same thing. So I've seen this a lot. I see it on a side braid, like I'm doing it for Alexis. And I also see people doing like two of these braids, two bubble braids. It's super cute, like beachy summer style. I love it. It's so cute and it looks way more complicated than it is. It's honestly, truly the very easiest thing you'll ever do. And Alexis has naturally curly hair, like super, super beautiful curly hair. And I think you should try this on your, your natural curls, Alexis. I think it'd be really cute. Okay. Even if, I think even with your product, you usually put gel in it. Mm -hmm. I had her come with no product and we curled it before we started. But I think even with your normally product curly hair, I think this would be so cute. I would not oh, do yeah. this part. I would just start here and then go down. I think it'd be cute. Okay. So cute. Okay. This is what it looks like, but I love it. I love that it bubbles. I love pulling it apart so they look really round. I think it's cute. You can mess with this piece up top. And like I said, I just twisted it up here to give it some interest to make it look different. But if, you, if you're a super beginner and you clicked on this video because it said the easiest braid ever, to make it really easy, just do a ponytail right here to start. So skip this part, ponytail, and then do your bubble. Okay, and let's, um, let's pan down her braid in just a second. But we also have, <laughs> let's see where, for, I'm scaring producer Kelly. I'm trying to tell her to do too much at once. First, let's show her before video. So let's show you her beautiful curls before we straighten them. We'll show that really quick. So this is her gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous hair. So we curled it before, and then this is the braid. I'm gonna twist her, and we'll have Kelly pan for us so you guys can see. And if you guys have any questions, we are live today, so we can answer those. And we also have, we have a shout out today. It's Alexis's sister's birthday. Do you want to say happy birthday to her? Happy birthday, Caitlin. Happy birthday, Caitlin. Caitlin is the cutest. She mm -hmm. also has been on my channel. She was the model for my bridal tutorial. So I hope you have an awesome birthday. Yeah. Okay, let's check our chat. Oh, people, everyone says you're cute. Chris, <laughs> hello, Chris. She says Alexis is so cute. She is. Really pretty. I love hair videos. Yay, I'm glad you like them. I like them too, especially on Alexis. Her twin, um, Brianna, was my model last week. We did another braid. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, hi, Christine. Love you, Julie. You're amazing. You're amazing. Oh, and Aubrey, hello. Alexis, you are beautiful. <laughs> you are so cute. 
Well, you guys, I hope you loved today's tutorial. Definitely try it and tag me on Instagram or Facebook. Let me know how you liked it. I promise it is so easy and it's very cute on short hair too. If you have short hair, just do your rubber bands closer together, maybe like an inch and a half apart instead of the three inches and you can still get that twist. And also if you have short hair, don't pull it apart quite as much so you don't lose that length. Um, if you have more hair requests, go ahead and drop them in the comments and I will see you guys tomorrow in our next video.